Hey guys, this is Nathan Pennington from RunDreamAchieve.com. Hope you're having a great afternoon, morning, or evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, today's video, I want to kind of focus on uh, this concept of what it takes to run a half marathon under two hours. Uh, there are a lot of uh, half marathoners, marathoners that are that are trying to really focus on getting under two hours for the for the uh, half marathon, and you know, as I as I talk about in a lot of the videos that I've created and a lot of the posts that I've made since 2000, what, 2011 on on RunDreamAchieve.com, is the the key to, to running faster at these distances um, is to teach yourself in training to run at or below your goal marath marathon race pace or half marathon race pace uh, to break a, a a two hour half marathon. Um, you know, you're gonna you're gonna have to focus on running faster than nine minutes and nine seconds per mile 13 times in a row so I mean how do you do that um, you know a, a, a big stepping stone for me uh, and that I teach quite often is really focusing on um, spending more time at a higher heart rate for a longer period of time what this does is it teaches the uh, it teaches the body to clear lactic acid faster than it's building up in in the bloodstream, and that's really the the reason why a lot of runners slow down uh, in the half marathon. Is uh, it's really on a physiological aspect. Uh, it's the hydrogen ion within lactic acid which shuts down the muscle uh, functioning capacity that we have while we're running. So you. You run, you teach, you, you're able to run under two hours for the half marathon by a combination of a lot of different things. Obviously, uh, if you've always focused on running long, slow, long runs on the weekends, I would definitely focus on changing that up. Uh, I, I always teach and, and help athletes uh, to get beyond that, that type of mindset where I just do a long run each weekend. Obviously, I'm doing my track workouts, I'm doing my tempo runs, I'm doing hill repetitions, things like that, but I'm doing every, you know, I go out and I do my long run. I, you know, it's like uh, anywhere from 12 miles to 20 miles in length. It could be a little bit longer, um, but that's not what you want to do. You want to alternate one hard, uh, harder effort long run followed by one recovery run. That way you, you're able to recover, obviously, from the, the previous week's hard effort. Um, I focus on... Um, teaching athletes to, uh, you know, if say, say they have a, a 12 mile long run focused for, for one weekend, uh, do a two mile warm up, spend like eight miles of the next eight miles at a heart rate of 160 beats per minute, uh, which is around 86 to 88% uh, maximum effort for most runners. Um, and then do a one mile uh, easy recovery after that, that eight mile segment and then run the last mile all out. So it's kind of a, and that's just one example, you know, it's just a variation of paces. Um, obviously doing track workouts where, you know, doing five to six mile by one mile repetitions on the track um, at like eight minute mile pace. Obviously that's over a minute faster than you're wanting to race a marathon. Uh, doing those types of workouts, doing fart licks, like doing, uh, 30 minutes to up to an hour, like 30, one minute hard, followed by one minute easy. So it's a 30 minute run. Obviously you're spending 30 minutes at a hard effort, anywhere between 165 to 172 beats per minute, which is right in the anaerobic threshold, uh, right around anaerobic threshold effort. This is the point where your body starts to build up lactic acid. Um, and you, what it is, is you're teaching your body to uh, spend more time at that that level, so you, you, you your body obviously doesn't shut down uh, because you've trained yourself at that anaerobic rate in training first. So you can actually get to the race and sustain the pace and not slow down because you've done the proper workouts in training leading up to your your half marathon. So um, obviously, spending more time, you know, extending the the distance of your long run. Obviously, the race is 13 miles, so if you can get your, your long run out from like from like 15 miles out to maybe 22 miles, obviously, even that's that's great training for, for a marathon uh, effort in and of itself, just that, that distance. 15 to 22 miles is, is very, very, uh, is really 
good preparation for even a marathon, but to break a, a two hour half marathon, uh, how to run a marathon or half marathon under two hours, uh, you have to focus on those, those workouts on the track that you're doing, you know, whether it be like a three by two mile, uh, workout at 845, uh, mile pace for those two mile reps. Uh, and then doing all the other little types of workouts. Like I talk about, uh, strides. I have a, actually a video where I created, you know, just focused on strides. These are short w runs anywhere from 50 to 150 meters, but it, they're, what they do is they teach the body to, to recruit more fast twitch muscle fibers. So the more fast twitch muscle fibers you can recruit, it makes your body more economic, economical. You're, you're running, uh, you're teaching the body to, to, to clear that lactic acid and, and really, uh, remind yourself, uh, you know, and these, these long, these, these strides that I'm telling you about, they're so short that they don't really build up any lactic acid, but they, they do over time. Uh, you know, if you're doing four to six, uh, strides every other day during your week, and you're doing that for 16 weeks, you've spent over that course of amount of time, literally miles at sprint speed. So because they're so short, you don't really notice them and you don't, it doesn't really tax, tax the body, uh, tax you. And so you can, you can still do that, th those types of workouts on top of your, your track workouts, your tempo runs, uh, your, your hill repetitions and your long runs. But those, the two key, key factors that will really help you get under two hours is one, increasing the, the, pace at which you're, you're running your long runs at, um, and gradually over time, extending the amount of time you're spending at or below your goal race pace. So again, your focus and your goal right now is to get to a point where 909 mile pace or faster feels comfortable. And obviously that's going to be a challenge in the early stages of your, your, uh, your training regimen. Um, it's, it's that way for me or anybody else, uh, you know, and, and I can tell you right now, my, my personal best for the half marathon is one hour, seven minutes, six seconds. My best time for the marathon is two hours, 19 minutes and 35 seconds, just to give you a little background uh, of, of my background. So I know what I'm talking about in regards to this. I, I can definitely help other athletes get under two hours for the, for the half marathon. And I know what works. And some of these, these strategies that I'm telling you about here in this video will definitely get you under two hours. Visualizing yourself, seeing yourself getting, you know, crossing the finish line with 159, 59 on the clock or faster. Doing that on a daily basis, several times a day, visualizing yourself doing it uh, on top of your training is so critical. It's so important. The mental training aspect of, of a 159 half marathon is something that's often overlooked. Uh, you know, we as runners, we focus so much on our, the, the physical training, um, and what we're doing, you know, the splits we're hitting and, you know, what types of, you know, workouts we're putting in, but it's the physical training or it's the mental training also that's critically important to, to break in a two hour half marathon. So, uh, really hope this, this video has been valuable for you. Uh, feel free to, to leave a comment below, like the video if it's, uh, if you learned some things here and something it's been helpful to you in some way, uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, uh, definitely hit the subscribe button and then click on the the uh, the, the bell. There's a bell uh, icon there, and that'll give you it'll basically give you an uh, an, an automatic alert uh, in your inbox that when I make a new video, uh, and so that will definitely help you out as well. So you'll you won't miss any new videos that I'm, I'm creating. Uh, Definitely, if you haven't yet, stop by RunDreamAchieve.com. Uh, there's a lot of a uh, lot of resources there that'll help you out in terms of getting uh, becoming a sub two hour half marathoner. Um, I'm excited for you. I know you can do it. Uh, but again, the name of the game when it comes to you know hitting specific splits for a specific distance is specific training. It, you, you cannot just focus on running high miles or thinking just you know running long long distances in and of itself is going to get you under two hours. It's a combination of doing a lot of little things in big ways. So, uh, doing, doing the, doing the track workouts at or below or far below, uh, goal, your goal half marathon pace 
getting to a point where you're you know you're doing two to three mile uh, three mile reps or two mile reps at like eight fifteen mile pace so or eight minute eight mile eight minute mile pace for those two mile or three mile repetitions that's that's so critical and once you get to a point where you're doing those and it and you're in control and you're doing those longer runs at faster paces and you have your heart rate you're holding your heart rate at a higher higher intensity for longer periods of time you're teaching the body to clear lactic acid faster than it's building up and you're you're spending time at that anaerobic threshold where um where it's going to it's going to create that physiological adaptation that you want in the training first and foremost you've done it in training first so once you get to the race the training should be by far the hardest part of this this uh this task of getting under 2 hours for the half marathon the race itself should be the easy part you should be testing yourself every single day in training and not just running and don't run every single day hard nobody can do that so a lot that time for yourself give yourself recovery between each hard effort and really focus on doing all the other little things your hydration practices practice drinking in in during during your long runs uh, eating plenty of vegetables and and fruits after you're done take Epsom salt baths um, ice baths if you can uh, getting a massage doing all the other things outside of the training all the benefits that you're doing in training the rest is where all the results come from. So focus on doing training at or below nine minutes and nine seconds per mile. Get to a point where you're spending a lot of a lot of time around that that uh, 9:15 to 9:20 pace. Or if you're on the track and you're doing five to six mile reps, or or three by two miles or three by three miles repetitions. Get to a point where you're running them under you know under 830 mile pace or at right around 8 minute mile pace or even doing mile repeats and you're at like 745 to 755 per rep so you're spending time well below sub 2 hour half marathon pace that is the key so hopefully that was helpful for you and uh, definitely look forward to uh, helping you out with future videos and uh, future blog posts I'm continuing to build uh, new new uh, resources and new products on rundreamachieve.com which I Definitely am 100% certain will help you get under two hours for the half marathon. So have a great day. I'll talk to you next time.